On Monday, January 25th, I came to the office and I noticed that the number of inquiries was down about 30%. And of course, that weekend, our friends in China, uh, you know, they shut down Wuhan. And that is, China is a huge part of any round the world itinerary because, you know, most airlines go through there and folks that were planning just saw that, hmm, can't really go to, don't want to go to China right now. Kind of look, it kind of felt sars bird flu-y at the yeah. time. Yeah. I don't know if you remember that. So that was the, our first indication. We're like, oh, okay. And many of the folks at AirTrex have been, you know, in the travel in this, this part of the business for multi-decade. So, you know, we discussed it and just kind of thought, well, we better not advise people to go there for now. And then it just kept getting worse and worse and worse as far as pe- the the news sharing what was happening. Of course, it went into Korea and then, you know, Italy and really starting very late February, early March, we can tell it just wasn't going to be like anything we've seen before. Um, and I started, I started offering some of our, some of our colleagues, uh, spring sabbaticals back in February. Cause I, I could just kind of tell that this is, you know, we're just not going to have the normal year that we, we typically have. And really from March 1st through March 14th is when things just, we got to the point on March 14th, which as Skift calls it, the day that world travel stopped, we, we did what we call a stop sell. And we've never actually stopped that before done that. We just could not trust the information we were getting from the airlines. They were canceling flights and changing flights. We were helping our customers come home or in some cases, which I can share with you in a minute, people decided to stay where they are, mm-hmm. right? It wasn't always the best decision. Of course, we, you know, e- each person has to decide where do I want to ride this out, so to speak. And then since basically March 14th, we've just been uh, processing cancellations and refunds and, you know, advocating for our customers, you know, cause some of them still want to travel at some point in the future. And some of them decide, Oh, not going to do that trip. Yeah. <laughs> so, and we're just, you know, in some cases we're waiting cause they don't, their, their flights are not till September or later. So that's an overarching timeline of our, of our experience. You know, we have thousands of people that are about to start a trip or are on a trip or have a trip in the future. And just helping them navigate not only how to change their travel plans, but, you know, there's major parts of their lives that are disrupted. And because we, we have a, you know, generally a talking relationship with most of our clients that we're, we're able to <laughs> hear their stories. What kinds of questions and concerns are you getting right now? Like what are, what do people seem worried about? Well, probably the, the biggest three are there's, you know, I think the air, the air treks traveler is not all that different from a vagabonding traveler, Rolf, that they're, I'd call them more on the hardcore yeah. Yeah. <laughs> perspective. So some people are like, Oh, are there any deals? You know, and I'm just, <laughs> and you know, because we can't trust the airlines right now, I'm just, I mean, we're not actually seeing many of those at all. And of course we don't want to book. Then there's, a, there's just a, a group of people who are like, well, obviously we need to cancel um, and in, in the airlines have kind of done that for them in most cases, hmm. yeah. right? Cause they just cancel flights. I mean, you saw Qantas, uh, I, I can't, like you said, this has been going on. It feels like six decades, but it's only been a few weeks. They canceled all international travel several weeks ago. And there's, there's lots of international carriers that have done the same or they're, they only have a few flights going. So it's getting on them and then dealing with, potential quarantines and so on and so forth. It's just, it's not something that any travel online travel agency like us, or I don't know, anyone can really manage without just going to the airport and figuring it out. <laughs> and that's really what we did on yeah. March 4th, Mar- March 15th. We had, we, we were unable to make changes so that, that we told each of our customers, you know, if you, if you want to go somewhere else, go to the airport. <laughs> Cause that's the only way we think you're going to be able to get on and just figure it out. <laughs>